Good morning. Brr, guys, it's cold out this morning. Coldest morning yet. The most I've had to bundle up. 43 degrees. Oh, I left the window in the room I edit in la open last night. And I'll tell you what, I went this morning and read some comments and brr. Ah, look at how good those sunflowers are doing. Just in time for the frost to hit. I'm just checking the weather. We're supposed to have one night. 38 degrees in the next couple of nights. Oh. Come on in, pigs. There you go. I'm pretty excited that we were able to build a third of the carport so far out of lumber that we've had left over from the barn kit. And we've been able to tear apart some of the shipping skids that the kits got shipped on. And making some of the beams out of that. <laughs> Oh, I love being able to reuse stuff we have on the homestead. Come on in, boys. It's so funny when the seasons change, the animals' activities change too. They're normally not sleeping in this late. Whether it's the goats, the pigs, and the chickens, everything's changing a little bit. You like the new hat? I love the new pig and goat design. Oh, came really nice. You can have to come up with a winter hat pretty soon, guys. Oh, I can't believe how chilly it is this morning. For everybody that was in the path of the hurricane, I hope y'all are doing good and that everything can get cleaned up quickly for y'all. Thank you, Will. You gotta go that way. This way. Go, go, go. Why are you so talkative this morning, little P, huh? He's still letting them nurse. You're a good mama, Willow. Good morning, Hope. You liking the new hay feeder? That'd be nice. Morning, Moose. Let me start off for the viewers. We bought the firewood shed kit from JamaicaCottageShops.com. I'll have a link in the description down below, but there was an interior wall that we're not doing. So we have the pine siding left over from that interior wall. And we're gonna put that here this morning. So what I was thinking is if I put a ledger board, make this back a bit, put a ledger board, then we can sit the siding here, nail it, and then when we're done, I'll just cut off what's running high. What is the ledger board? It'll just be a straight board we can nail here so we can set, instead of having to hold every piece up to the right height. We'll just nail a board down here, yeah. and we can just set every board. Then we'll snap a chalk line, and then we can just zoom. And then, you can. Yeah. Zoom. And then, because there's only gonna be like this much left over, we can't do nothing with it anyways. Our lumber pile's getting down there. Oh, a nice spider for you. Everywhere. The spiders, yes. All right, so a pile of lumber we're going to need right now is this stuff right here. You want to get more than one at a yeah, time? Yeah, let's grab two at a time. Three, so we can get that taller one. Okay, go three. And then we'll have to kind of lay them out and see which one's a which. Hand on my head, 
rest on my chest. Be my lover, yeah. be my best friend. I'm gonna rake friend. back some of the gravel. I'm gonna rake back some of this. I will wait friend. on your border until you will let me in. What? Figaro left you a present. Hand on my head, chest on my chest. Sound of voices and of drums. I will show you how the West was won. We left New York City with our windows down. We couldn't see the trees and it was too damn loud. I will stand on your border and I'll search through the clouds. Yeah, we left New York City with our windows down. Get our ledger boards set. Perfect. So let's start on the back side and we'll work our way forward. Yeah, it set it on the bottom. Set it so it sits on the ledger board. Yep. Oh, we're all knotted up. You can have it. I'll let you use the nail gun. I finally remembered to get some safety glasses. I saw you got some. You're not hot in that winter coat. Yeah, I don't have to. Yeah. I'm getting hot in my sweatshirt. I don't really want to. Let me see the nail gun for one minute. I'll get this one started. You won't do all of them? Yep. Here you go. I just want to make sure we're still going nice and... Yep. Well, that one's got a good old bow a doe do he hi ho it's still level we're gonna put batten strips over it anyways but holy moly well if you turn it over you're gonna cut it off oh you're still gonna have a bow on the other side then we might have a bow going the other direction let's see all right go for it just put one there 
and one up there for now. We'll see what happens. Okay, now do one down low. Not near my foot. Well, I thought you wanted to put it there. I no, wasn't gonna get I your put foot. In my foot. Let's check out. That's better than what it was on the other side. Let's see what we get like if we go this way. So that's a huge gap, but if we go this way, it's not terrible. I mean, it doesn't look very good for a minute, but you're gonna cut that off. That's gonna get covered up with a batten strip. So go yeah, for it. I'm saying you're cutting that so it's not going Correct. Oh, you got it all done. So the question is, do you want this knot like that out? Or do you want this big knot out? The big knot out. Okay. Unless it bows, then we'll switch it. Oh, Beautiful. That's perfect. It and then it's right above where you're going to nail awesome. it. Even better. There. There was a nail right there. That one's got a good bow. I wonder what it'll look like if we do this. A lot better. All the way across. Yep. You can finish that one too. That does look funny with all the tops going the wrong direction. That's perfect. I do that down to this line. Really, is that much? This so one. Can't really tell. What's that? I said, is that much? Yep. You can't really tell. Is that the depth two inch and a quarter? Want to grab another battery while I get this figured out? Right there. And then you can take the chalk line. I made a mark down there.
Good? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna pull it tight. Ready? Yeah. Booyah. I'll give you the chalk one. And then here, I'll give you, I don't need that either. Does that look better? Yeah. Watch out. Nice. I like it better the other way. You liked it better the other way? Now comes your favorite pot. We get the, I get to get up on the roof and strap it. No. You wanna get up there with me? No. Square up this end, and then we'll slip it over. Jesus. Don't like this wet hemlock. What's that? I kept the spacer board. I got them right here. Thank you. I did find them. I didn't know if I'd have to remake them, and I didn't have to. We got to flush it up in the square. Okay, come down. 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 All right, that's good. Go up, uphill, keep going, keep going, more. This is as much as I can do. All right, let it back, let it back. Here you go, that's good. Let's get this very end one. Perfect, right there. Bring that one down a little bit. Line it up over here. And that'll get us back on track for the next row. I'll need some more. Does it matter which pile? No, the very the widest one I want for the last top one. And then hand me up one, then I'll need a thing of nails. 
All right, let it go. Thank you. And that got us back on track with our spacers. That bottom one's a little bit wider than that course over there. Thank you. You only have one more bundle after this one. Okay. That should be enough to get us through the build. Boom, that's it for strapping. The saw is right here. Oh, you want that saw? Yeah, and then the hammer. Where do you want it? Can you hand it right here? Yeah, but. I only need it for one second. Oh, and I will take the metal square. Thank you. You ready to get up on the stage in? Do I have to go? You went up last time and helped. You're getting to be an old pro. I know. I'll have to build something now, something else now. Nothing we need. All right, I'm gonna give you this. I gotta get him up first. You don't know, can't tell what we do today. Didn't you side the side? Yeah, we sided it. We needed more wood, which is down there, to finish up the back of the siding. We had everything else here. Is this gonna be right here? That's gonna be sided right there with a. Careful, don't trip on the apples. I know, I almost did. It's like walking on marbles.
you eat all your hay? Look, they've learned how to pull it out of the hay feeder. They make a mess too. This one needs a screen in it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Go. Hi, goats! Hi, Hopi. Willow. 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 Hopi. How's that apple there, Willow? Who got the second one? Blossom? Oh, Willow, don't drop it, Willow! Uh, Blossom's getting it too. Yeah, she didn't like it. And once they drop it on the ground, they don't want to pick Probably it back up. Oh, you're smelling the one that Willow's eating now. Uh, you're smelling the one that Blossom's eating now, Willow. What's your guess today? I say 15. Okay, no changing your guesses. Eleven. Yeah. Eleven. Thirteen. Thirteen. <laughs> Fifteen. Sixteen. We've been getting sixteen the last few days. Chilly mornings just keep reminding me I'm gonna have to start a fire sooner than later, guys. We need to get the woodshed done, and we keep getting closer and closer. Uh, I can't wait to have our firewood under cover. It's gonna be so nice. I was just reading a quote. In any situation, the best thing you can do is the right thing. The next best thing you can do is the wrong thing. The worst thing you can do is nothing. Man, that is so true. Sometimes we can get so like paralyzed by fear or not knowing what to do that we just freeze and we don't do anything that's the worst to do the best thing is just do something if it's wrong guess what we're gonna learn from it and it's gonna be a lesson it's not gonna be a failure we'll learn from it <sighs> at first when I heard that I was like no but you stop and think about it it makes so much sense that's how we learn that's how we grow we can't get mad at ourselves for doing something wrong or messing up it's all a life lesson this is a journey that we're on guys and we need to put one step in front of another and just do it if a child when they're walking is learning how to walk and it falls down you don't tell it not to get back up and do it again you encourage it so when we have a bad day or we fail at a garden or raising chickens for one time we don't need to get down in the dumps on ourselves we need to re-encourage ourselves and be like hey we learned X, Y, and Z from it. So next time when we do it, we're going to do it a little differently. That's the way to look at life, guys. I'm telling you. Thanks for coming along on this journey we call Modern Homesteading. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.